you got to be careful um, where their mallets are, you know, because they could whack you in the head. And um, and sometimes, you know, you're you're just looking at the ball and you're not looking around as you sh you should be looking around. But and before you know it, you're about to like T-bone somebody. So it just takes a lot of uh, be able to got to focus on a lot of different things at the same time. I've got better uh, turning. I can turn on, on a dime pretty much, uh, just kind of pivot. Um, I don't have much of a top speed though, so if, if you get ahead of me and pick up any speed, uh, I'm pretty much uh, left in your dust. But um, I think the, the offset between control and, and speed is is enough that it's it's still pretty fair to play on it. A high uh, tooth cog, a 22 tooth, which is a bit uncommon, and I have a up here, I have my brake that goes to both of the front and the back brakes, so I can stop a bit faster and stronger. Uh, it's a nice freestyle build for the frame, so it's pretty good for polo and handling corners and getting around people. We get a lot of shots to the wheels, which will occasionally break spokes or you know just mess them all up and there's a lot of crashes with other ones, so a lot of the wear is on the wheels. Go Chris, go! That's good. Shot two. People play the sport in like a city and then move back to their city or town and just start up a polo club. So that's kind of how it's been spreading. It's um, 2011, so it's getting even more popular than it's ever been before.